Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. How are we doing? It's officially November 2024, and I'm pleased to tell you Christmas Universe is back in session for 2024. Welcome to the 2024 series, Christmas Universe. I hope, I know many of you have been missing this, so I thought, what a perfect time to begin, then to begin as we officially enter November. And today's, today's episode is going to be fun because it, you know, it has, we have every reason to do this, be, this, this uh, review because, well, because of how significant this, this um, program is for this year's Christmas lineup, because you'll probably be probably aware by now that Gavin and Stacy is returning Christmas this year, which means that we have to now pay very close attention to stuff that happened in the last Christmas special because there's a very good chance it might tie into this year's special. And you'll see what I mean when we get through when we revisit this episode, because there might be there is an element in here that tie into the new Christmas special, the finale of Gavin and Stacey we will witness during Christmas on BBC One, which and BBC iPlayer, which is going to be so exciting to see that finale. I mean, I'm so hyped about it. It's so cool. We're getting a finale, but I'm just so excited about the prospect of what's going to happen here. With that said, let's revisit the a special Christmas episode of Gavin and Stacey. Yes, that's the tagline uh, title that they gave this Christmas special. Was they labelled it as a special Christmas uh, on the DVD releases of the 2019 Christmas Gavin and Stacey. Let's, uh, let's sort of give you a bit of a summary for those who are here and you, you know, and you can watch this on BBC iPlayer, by the way, if you're in the UK, or you can watch it on Amazon. I think Amazon have got a way. You, I mean, you can rent it and buy it from Amazon if you fancy going that route. Yeah, because you know, Apple TV's got it, uh, Amazon's got it. So if you fancy just buying it, it's not. It shouldn't be too bad when it comes to buying the episode. If you want to watch it that way, then that's it. You know, I definitely recommend you watch Kevin and Stacey. They're a fantastic comedy. But anyway, to give you a bit of a summary for those who are curious and want to really re re read up this episode essentially this christmas special opens up with obviously the traditional gavin and uh, stacy having a phone call gavin in essex stacy in uh, in wales in barry island wales that is you know just chatting on the phone like all days like we saw in the original run series run where they chat uh from apart on the phone and you know and then obviously gavin's like 24 hours to go babes sort of response which we all know he that's classic gavin and stacy right there yeah we have that scene going on but then eventually it leads into the um yeah it basically leads to, to the whole uh stuff going on with the uh well we might as well talk about the Shipman side of things. The Shipmans are, uh, which Gavin Shipman, of course, and the Shipman family. Well, you know, you have Pam and Nick, Mick, who are trying to take decide what to take with them. And then obviously Pam decided to bring towels with her because she doesn't want to have uh, used towels that were apparently kept in Gwen's house since the 70s and 80s, which it's kind of, it's kind of funny that she has this homophobic thing about towels, but yeah, that was the thing. Um, and then, of course, the fact that, um, you know, the fact that Pam likes to be in charge of Christmas and whenever it's the ship, the West is turned to do it, she kind of gets all emotional because she's like, oh, I want I want them to come to me. I want them, I want to be in charge. You know, because she just, I think she just enjoys have, being the host sometimes and you can tell by her at atmosphere that she loves to be the host of things. But, you know, the, the the, the West want to host at times, so they kind of alternate every year uh, who does what when it comes to Christmas and West. And obviously, uh, wanted to be in charge of it because it's bread, of course, and bread's bread. So, um, so yeah, so we have that going on. And obviously, at the same time, we also have Smithy who comes to meet Gavin and the Shipments, of course. And we find out straight away that, well, Smith, there's a couple of things that are different with Smithy, particularly the fact that he's met this woman who he uh, you know he meets this you know meets this girl that he came across uh you know 
been sort of somewhat dating whilst uh, you know, being the father of Nessa's child, having obviously uh, keeping his duties on the bargain. So he kind of just decided to meet somebody along the way. And yeah, he be- he meets the hero. He meets that girlfriend of his. And, and for those who for those of you who are curious about what the name of the girlfriend was, if you haven't um, if you haven't heard like the name of the the girlfriend in particular, the girlfriend in particular that they are uh, referring to is the girlfriend in particular was Sonia. There you go, Sonia. Yes, I was trying to remember the name from oh uh, yes, Sonia was the name in particular who uh, we we obviously get to meet. And this was obviously Smithy's somewhat new girlfriend, even though it really uh, go anywhere to be honest. But yeah, it's um, yeah we have that sort of going on that whole concept of the whole um, that whole yeah that whole concept was going on in terms of Smithy dating her even though he yeah Sonia wanted to be you know she she was trying to sort of take a risk about wanting to meet Smithy's family and that it didn't really go well as you would see later in the episode she just wanted to go home she just wanted to get out of you know she didn't feel comfortable being away from her home so yeah that that relationship didn't really go as well as Smithy wanted it to and also the fact that Sonia was trying to get Smithy to come with her her and yet Smithy's like, no, I'm not leaving my family behind, which yeah, this is all stuff that comes later on but I thought I'll mention it because it's you know, it's relevant stuff because uh, Smithy brings up her name straight away and then obviously Gavin, you can tell Gavin was a bit annoyed because Smithy never introduced her to uh, you know, him and his, you know, just to the Shipman family or and even in the West family either because Nessa needs to know because Nessa's the uh, the mother of, of Smithy's child obviously and so Obviously, you know, he's going to have to uh, know at some, she's going to have to know at some point. So, uh, yeah, it's, it, it's, you can imagine the chaos surrounding that. But, um, but yeah, so that's going on. But once that's going on, you have uh, Dawn and Pete Sutcliffe, the Sutcliffe pet couple, of course. They are having a bit of a crisis because Dawn thinks that uh, Pete was smoking cannabis, uh, getting addicted to like drugs and stuff. But, well, not really. It was basically just a a joke within the in, in his uh, workplace they were having a, they were trying to include him into stuff and then Dawn took it way too seriously than she should have and they made up so that was yeah that's just typical Dawn overreacting because she usually does it yeah, we all know Dawn overreacts when stuff happens because that's Dawn for you. Um, yeah, so that's that was going on. And then, of course, Mick, then eventually the shipments would have finally make their way to Barry Island, finally catch up where we ship with the West. Now, of course, in the West side of things, um, Stacy catches up with Nessa, who is doing a tattoo for Darren. Uh, and then Darren was being a, bit, a little bit sneaky and sort of flirty. And Nessa's like, be on your way, sort of response. <laughs> and yeah, then obviously Nessa was also keeping an eye on Neil, um, who they're still calling the baby, even though he's basically 12. But hey, uh, yeah, it's basically a gimmick that they wanted to refer him as Neil as the baby still, despite despite him growing up. They wanted him to still be referred to that. But it was really cool to see Neil the baby. Well, Neil, of course, uh, being considered he's the um, he's a very important part of the family, considering that we never really got to see him grow up until until this point. So it was great to see that Neil is now grown up. Now we get to see what he's like as a kid, basically, and try to reach the teenager stage. Even though it'll be interesting to see if we'll see him as an adult in the new special. Maybe we will. We'll find out. But nevertheless, uh, Nessa and Neil were going to like their usual getting uh being carol singers uh on the streets trying to demand money yes they did that whole thing and then eventually smithy comes along meets up with nessa and neil uh talking about christmas and then obviously pam unexpectedly as you would expect because there was a funny moment when the shipments were about to make their way down that pam mick and you know peter dawn had a bit of a moment where they were smoking their fang and uh yeah they were just having a bit of a woozy moment that eventually made pam forget to bring the uh to bring the christmas Christmas puddings, so they end up 
buying some Christmas puddings, but as you would find out later on in the story, they forgot to bring those home because they left them at the pub. Yes, they eventually get to a pub, of course, and we'll, might, we'll talk about the pub in a moment, but yeah, they left it in the pub. So in other words, Bryn and Gwen did have no Christmas puddings. So no, the Christmas puddings were literally stuck in the pub, and some Christmas puddings were stuck in Pam's house. So in other words, they had to make up their own pudding for after the Christmas lunch. Ah, <laughs> that was that was really funny. It was so funny. And then obviously we had this thing about bread, um, having to buy special bread sauce, and then he uh, refused to pay the uh, guy that he got the bread sauce from. So Gwen did it and told Bread, "You owe me back for that." So yeah, typical bread uh, trying to avoid the situation. And then of course you've got Bryn. Uh, well, we'll get to the Bryn's cooking stress because that eventually, uh, because it's funny enough he was measuring the oven to begin with but it eventually picks up as we get to the Christmas morning but anyway um, so now we come to the pub this was a very cool moment uh, we get to see Mick, Pam, Stacy, Nessa, Brad, and then also uh, Jason Jason shows up for the pub scene yeah we finally caught up with Jason again he's got he's got a beard now um, and also Gavin was there Smithy was there it was really cool to see uh, everyone come together for the uh, yeah, for basically a celebration before on Christmas Eve, pretty much. But then at the same time, we have Stacy who tells uh, uh, Gavin, "Yeah, come outside for a minute." And funny enough, they were actually standing where they uh, where Gavin surprised Stacy in terms of coming back to Barry Island. So they sort of re sort of in somewhat recreate moments from the previous series and the early days of Gavin and Stacy. They kind of recreate those moments during Christmas um, that year and it was just really lovely scene between Stacy and Gavin that sort of recur sort of brings back memories of um, uh, what that what basically started the relationship basically for them and basically started that whole relationship between Gavin and Stacy pretty much uh, they started to um, play that off a bit in the in the scene which was great to see them reignite that moment that we um, we solely missed at that point when when the episode first came out so um, so yeah we have that moment with Gavin and Stacey where they kind of rekindled uh, some things eventually we come to the moment where Nessa and, and Brent were doing the song Fairy Tales of New York obviously paying homage to, to the Pogues even though we did lose a form, a very popular member of the Pogues uh, last year which I, I kind of wish it does become Christmas number one at some point hopefully it does because definitely deserves a spot as a Christmas number one fingers crossed it will anyway so um, yeah Bryn and Nessa um, have their great fairy tale in New York sing along and then eventually Bryn uh, panics because he realizes it's Christmas morning and he hasn't put the dinner on yet so he's running around in a dressing gown basically trying to make sure he gets uh, goes in and out of doing the um, doing the, the potatoes of that and then obviously uh, Gwen basically Basically, Jeff, you know, he kind of got annoyed with Gwen for jeopardizing the cooking a little bit when he sort of helped out a little bit. And Bren was like, you have no right to do that by my permission, which was uh, really, it was like crazy how Bren was just getting all wound up because like he likes to be in control. And then, of course, he drops the bread sauce halfway through because his hand boiling after, uh, after you know, basically taking his cooking seriously. <laughs> <laughs> which is funny and then of course you've got Nessa and Stacy doing the whole uh, and then of course you have uh, Brent saying uh, Gwen you know Stacy Ness the, the table should have been laid out 70 minutes ago and the plates are still at Stacy, which is kind of funny it was such a funny chaos moment and then we have uh, Mick and Pam uh, having a bit of a moment where uh, they're opening presents with uh, Gavin with Gavin and Stacy's kids of course who are opening presents from Mac Mick as obviously it's Christmas morning you, yeah we all know the feeling of Christmas morning opening presents and stuff it's it's a kid's wonder isn't it uh, Christmas morning such a beautiful morning and then um, and then we come to uh, the moment where Nessa and Des, Nessa and Smithy yeah Nessa and Smithy had a uh, had a bit of a moment where they were you know woke up in bed together again that was uh, yeah just a part back of basically what happened uh, in the previous series when those two were in the same room as each other. And then eventually it leads to uh, Neil and 
and um, and then obviously they caught up with Neil the baby, and then eventually Smithy would end up getting a call for from Sonia regarding the um, her coming. So of course he picked up the phone and said, "You know, trying to let him know, hey, I'm on my way." So yeah, that's that was going on. So yeah, so that was um, yeah. We'll get to the Sonia bit uh, in terms of her introduction eventually, but eventually dinner would be sorted out. Bryn would serve the dinner, and then obviously Smithy's like, "Oh, can't move." Um, that yeah just shows you how intense that you know how it, it you know it takes people apart the whole christmas dinner like it's very full on like everyone gets filled up really quickly when it comes to christmas dinner i'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who get filled up really quickly when it comes to christmas meals so yeah let me know in the comment section if you're one of those people who usually gets filled up by the contest consent if you get filled up really easily from all the christmas dinner shenanigans in terms of all the all the like the uh, side you know, the veg and the potatoes and all the trimmings that you you would normally have for christmas dinner i'll be interested to see how everyone tackles that because just me people get fill up really quickly and i usually do as well so i could definitely relate to scenes like that but um yeah it's it was such a such a great scene to see Brent getting praised for christmas dinner and then eventually smithy uh, introduces sonia sonia arrives and then he has a weird voice change and then everyone it's like, oh my god, Smithy's really acting really bizarre uh, since Sonia arrives. And then obviously um, Smithy then talks to Sonia for a bit and then Smithy was like, oh, you can't wait to see Neil the baby. And then Sonia's like, Neil the baby, but Neil's 12. She has him there. He is 12, obviously. But <laughs> they have it. They, they call him Neil the baby because it's a thing in the family, apparently. But it's, eventually they end up going to Gwen's um, apartment to, for dessert and they had like an ice lolly and yeah, just basically ice cream, pretty simple stuff, really, to, to feed their appetite when it comes to pudding, even though they left the Christmas puddings in the pub and Pam's house, like, Pam forgot to bring the Christmas puddings, so yikes. But anyway, now we come to the uh, the plugs uh, present, which Nessa did. She she did either hot or cold plug. And then we have Gwen, who was doing photos of, uh, for, yeah, basically, basically did some like hd photos of the of, of the family and obviously the west the shipments had their photos but then eventually Bryn and jason had um some photos that relate to that fishing trip yes that fishing trip the conversation of the fishing trip gets brought up and i have to wonder if the if the finale is gonna is gonna finally explain what the hell happened in that fishing trip maybe it will i don't know but I feel like at some point we've got to get an explanation as what happened in the fishing trip because it keeps being brought up every, nearly every episode. The whole idea of like, you really want to know what happened to that fishing trip, as Bryn says. But hey, it, yeah, it keeps being brought up a lot. So we know that fishing trip is going to have to be resolved eventually. But yeah, uh, and then of course he uh, he tried to start revealing stuff and then they just, yeah, and then the kids come in and then they just cut it off. So I think this time in the finale, we're going to find out what happened to the fishing trip trip i don't think anyone's going to be able to interrupt that conversation in the finale i don't think but we'll see nevertheless we were cut off shortly from finding out whatever happened at that fishing trip i'm sure we'll find out hopefully in the finale and then we come to the evening of christmas day where uh, yeah we come to that part where sonia was saying goodbye and the family were a little bit concerned like smithy was gonna go uh, Smithy and Neil were essentially going to go to Sonia, but Smithy was like, no, I'm not leaving you behind. And then eventually Sonia drives off. Smithy didn't look too impressed about him about the about the way she behaves, so she wasn't he wasn't particularly too happy. And then we come to this scene, this last scene, which I like to say is the scene that's going to be key feature, key moment of what will essentially begin. Or pretty much be the main question of the of the finale of Gavin and Stacey. We get to a moment where Nessa goes out for a fag. Smithy's gone for a fag as well because obviously she, he's having a fag with Nessa. And then eventually we get to this point where Nessa talks about, "Oh, you you you've warmed my heart." Sort of response, like being all lovely 
to be loving, lovable to Smithy to the point that she gets down on her knees. She puts out a ring and tells Smithy to marry her. Smithy looks shocked and surprised, and then we didn't really get an answer. It cuts off right, right as soon as he she says, "Marry me." So now the big question is heading into the finale: Did Smithy say yes? Which is the one question that everybody wants to know. Did Smithy say yes? Did Smithy say yes? Did, did she accept? Did he accept her proposal? That's where we're going to hopefully find out in this year's Christmas special whether or not we will see a marriage between Smithy and Nessa. My assumption would be possibly, but we'll see how it all plays out because it's all been secretive since the uh, the finale episode has been announced. So we'll see what happens. Will Smithy and Nessa get married or is it going to be all red herring? We shall see so uh yeah gonna be very very interested to see what happens but nevertheless i am very very excited about this this new episode that's going to be coming up at, at christmas because why would you not be it's gavin and stacy gavin and stacy have provided so many moments in the last few years that you can't really ignore they're so, so much funny. I've really enjoyed watching Gavin and Stacey over the years. So I love it. I love Gavin and Stacey and I can't wait to see them return for Christmas 2024. Man, this fin- it's going to feel emotional saying goodbye to this this series on uh, this Christmas. But I'm sure people are going to gonna be thanking uh, James Corden and Ruth Jones for, the, for uh, making a show that we all fall in love with. And I'm sure we're going to be re-watching it for years and years to come. Yeah. We're going to be thanking them a lot. But in that case, uh, let me know in the conversation what you make of the uh, Christmas special and the cliffhanger. Do you think Smithy says yes to Nessa? Do you think you think we're going to see that marriage in the uh, Gavin and Stacey finale this Christmas? Or do you feel like it's all red herring? Let me know in the comment section. And also there'll be links for those who want to buy the 2019 Christmas special. Or if you want to watch the rest of the series or the entirety of series one to two, then you'll have the option there to get your hands on it and there'll be dvd links as well if you want to get a dvd of it potentially and build a gavin and stacy dvd collection which maybe you will maybe you might want to but anyway i thought i'll just put the links there just in case you fancy picking them up and by uh, by uh, and by that case i will see you all in the next episode where we're gonna have a chance to look back at the hopefully have a chance to look at the top of the pops christmas special we're gonna have a top of the pops christmas special look back uh, and i won't tell you what year we're going to cover but you'll see the in our next episode so i'll see you then